Well, thank you for joining me. So in this video, we are looking at leg movement in the backswing and how it can help get a better rotation, help maintain your positions better as well. So this client on the left here, when he first comes to see me, you can see his stance is quite wide, his knees were quite flexed. And as he went into his backswing, he almost sort of squatted into his backswing. The right knee flexes even more and the left knee bends forward. So he ends up dropping in height and keeping his knees flexed out like that. It's really restricting his rotation. So he struggles to get a full turn in and the arms end up sort of left unfolds to try and you know make, get a full swing up there. So first of all, we narrowed his stance a little bit. We also got him straightening his right leg a little bit more and turning the left knee across. So he got a bit more of a twist so he could stay between the lines quite nicely and maintain his height. Now this extra rotation, I mean obviously his knees being straight has kept his height, but also the extra rotation has allowed him to get a fuller shoulder turn in which has allowed him to keep his left arm straighter, but still feel like he's got a full swing in there. So you see, it's a much tidier need to look in position. Uh, same on the downswing, because his feet are closer together, it gets a better turn through, and we just worked on him extending his arms as well, just so he could get a better extension through him past impact. But key point here, and we've really done a really good job, is that leg work. Stra slightly narrower stance, straightening the right leg, getting the left knee turning across and feeling like the twist in the hips. So it helps to maintain his height. And then in the downswing is when he starts to drop his height as he re-squats into the first move down and then stands again, posts up through impact. That's how he's going to generate power. Doesn't want to be squatting and dropping height on the backswing because then it's, it will tend to release and stand up early from that position. Or in this case here, he just he goes down further but he never recovers, never stands back up. Because he's dropped so much in height, the arms end up overfolding. So, yeah, if you feel this you know, rings true to you, if you want me to have a look at your golf swing, click on the link below. It will take you to my website where we can uh, I now do online coaching so I can assess your golf swing. It's just $9.99 for a one-week trial.